Making money from crypto doesn't have to be hard. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can start making $100 per day using Binance. Now I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube that are incredibly misinformed, bland, and way too technical. I'm going to give you my exact strategy and the step-by-step -step blueprint on everything you need to know about making money with Binance in 2022. Before we begin, if you enjoy these how to make money with crypto videos, don't forget to smash that like button so that YouTube can recommend you with more valuable content like this. And if you wanna be part of my journey, subscribe to the channel. I'll love for you to be part of the Sea Rich family. One last thing, I have a small gift for you guys. If you use the Binance sign up link down below in the description, you'll be getting a 10% commission on your first trade. It's completely free and it's a win-win for both of us. With that said, Let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my Binance account and how much I've been making over the past two years of crypto investing. Here we have the breakdown of my spot profit and loss analysis over the past 30 days. And as you can see here right now, my portfolio is worth about 100,000 US dollars or about 2.47 Bitcoin at the time of this recording. Yesterday brought about $2,000 in this portfolio and the month bringing in about $19,000, which is about a 24% profit margin in the past 30 days. But keep in mind that these numbers that you're seeing right now has not always been the case for my crypto journey. I've had a lot of losses, learning curves to overcome, and a lot of experiences that taught me some valuable lessons in investing in crypto. So my first ever investment in crypto was actually in Ethereum. Back in 2020, I put in $1,000 into Binance, which was money I earned from hard work inside hustles and e-commerce. I didn't see much growth in the first couple of months, but when the crypto space started to grow in early 2021, that's where I started building more positions, and that's where I started growing my portfolio more exponentially. Back then, I didn't have loads of capital to invest, so I started off small and I learned how to take profits in more aggressive trades. And by investing my money into crypto, I started learning more and researching about projects. And that's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel, to document my journey and share my lessons and experiences with you guys. So there was a point in life last year where I experienced one of the hardest market crashes back in May. And this was really one of my first major experience in seeing losses in my portfolio in the markets and tons of manipulation, which led to a lot of emotions that we needed to overcome. I vividly remember holding Bitcoin back then and watching the markets as it fell from $60,000 to $30,000 in just a matter of weeks. I was making videos at that time about buying the dip when everyone was saying it was the end of Bitcoin and when we were in a so-called bear market. Now, because I understood the fundamentals of crypto and knew that nothing had really changed, I remained optimistic and I continued to take any opportunity I could to build more positions in the market. And that's where my portfolio had already grown to about five figures. I diversified to more than like 10 altcoins. And that's when I started aggressively dollar cost averaging Bitcoin and Ethereum every single week. Now, as a beginner, here are three key lessons that you need to know when starting to invest in crypto. The first lesson is to never let your emotions continue, especially in the volatile nature of crypto. So what this means is rationally making decisions to not panic sell when the markets are down or being too greedy when the markets are up. A rule of thumb for me is to buy the fear and sell the greed, which is a basic working strategy that I use to make money. And I'll show you guys exactly how I use this strategy more comprehensively later in this video. But the second main lesson that I learned is to take profits. Now, as much as I like to say I'm holding for the long term and have diamond hands, there are lots of times where people become too greedy in the markets where it's actually necessary to sell. And I've had a lot of experiences where I've already made a 2x in an altcoin, for example, and then I forgot to sell. Now, selling and taking profits out of crypto doesn't mean that you need to cash out your crypto to fiat money to cash. For me, it simply means moving coins that I've already made profits on to stable coins like Tether or USDC, for example. And it looks like putting these profits back into Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is a skill that I think every investor needs to learn to become successful. And the third main lesson that I learned was to have an abundant mindset, which means that I'm always open to learning more about projects and taking use of every opportunity I have, even when the markets are down. Now, specifically over the last six months, I've learned that you can still make tons of money even when the markets are crashing and red if you know what you're doing. So with that said, you guys, how can you make $100 per day with crypto in 2022? Right now, there's actually a lot of ways that you can make $100 per day consistently with crypto. One of them is staking your crypto and stable coins where you can get interest every month or year simply by holding your crypto and physically doing nothing. You can do this in Binance, for example, where you lock your money Money for a certain period of time and you can get easily 5% per year doing nothing. Now, another way to earn money is by joining airdrops where companies will literally give people free crypto in exchange for a service or a promotion on Twitter, for example. And there's also a lot of NFT and crypto giveaways that happen daily on Twitter and NFT flipping that you can also get into. I have a good friend who's really into Solana NFTs and he's making a lot of money simply by flipping them. Now, one of my personal strategies that I use in making $100 per day other than staking on Binance is trading altcoins. And how I usually like to do this is by going to this website. It's called 
coinmarketcap.com if you're not familiar with it, where I take a look at the top 20 altcoins by market cap. And then I look at each altcoin's performance over the 24 hours, seven days, and 30 days chart. And personally, some of the projects that I've been invested and looking at right now are Ethereum, Solana, Terra Luna, Avalanche, Polygon, and Chainlink. If you wanna go higher risk, higher reward, then you can potentially look at coins with a lower market cap. But if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend sticking with the top 20 coins by market cap that already have millions of dollars, billions of dollars invested in these projects. So one of the simplest working crypto strategies that I use is the fear and greed index which is basically a daily evaluation of the markets that demonstrate how people are feeling about the prices right now. So as you can see here today, we're in extreme fear with a score of 21. And over the past week, we've been in extreme fear because the markets are currently down. But historically speaking, the best buying opportunities come when people are feeling extreme fear and the best selling opportunities, vice versa, to take profits are when people are feeling extreme greed. So as a beginner, if you're confused about when to buy crypto and when to sell your crypto, looking at the fear and greed index is probably one of the easiest indicators. Because let's be honest, even for people who claim that they can time the markets, I can tell you confidently that nobody can exactly time the markets because it's very unpredictable and highly volatile. And that is exactly where this second strategy to make money comes in. So if you guys are not familiar with dollar cost averaging, essentially what you're doing is buying crypto in small amounts every week, no matter what the price is, high or low. And the purpose of dollar cost averaging is so that you can reduce the impacts of volatility. This is extremely beneficial, noting that it's incredibly hard to time the crypto markets. And this strategy is something that I've been personally doing for the last year. And the routine that I've been following is putting at least $100 every week into Bitcoin and Ethereum. In 2022, what is cool is that right now in Binance, they just opened an option where you can actually auto invest and dollar cost average crypto without physically doing anything. So let me show you. If you go to the Binance app, on your phone, you can simply press this auto invest button, which leads you into a page where you can basically make a digital program that invests in a certain crypto for you. Binance offers a couple of good options, BNB, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, XRP, AVAX, Luna, Matic, and Chainlink. So for example, if we were to try press on Bitcoin, you can see that we have a choice to auto dollar cost average either daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Let's just put $100 as an example for this video daily, which means that per month, Binance would automatically invest $100 times 30 days, $3,000 worth of stable coins into Bitcoin. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you dollar cost average like a pro. So if you wanna buy Bitcoin from the Binance app, it's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is first deposit some money into your account to buy USDT, Tether, or USDC, which are stable coins. And then you go into the markets tab where you search for Bitcoin slash USDT. Then when you press on it, you can see the price of Bitcoin and the graph. And let's just try to buy a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin for the purposes of this video. So when you press buy, it's going to go to the open orders where you need to wait for people to fill in that order. And it usually takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so once it's filled, it's that simple. You now have Bitcoin in your wallet. Now, before you make any major trades or investments, this step is very crucial, which is to secure your Binance account with two-factor authentication. So you can use Google Authenticator, your phone number, and email to do this process, as well as set up an anti-phishing code just to make your account more secure. And if you complete all these steps, your account should be good to go and you can start investing. One of the questions that I get a lot is, see Rich, is it too late to buy Bitcoin? Now, obviously, if you were to compare the price of Bitcoin right now compared to the price of Bitcoin like 10 years ago, then that would be considered much higher, right? But if you compare the price of Bitcoin today to a couple of months ago, let's say in October, then the price today would look really cheap. Now, personally, my philosophy in crypto investing is that the best time to invest may be yesterday, might be last month or last year, but the second best time is today. And I think starting your investment journey as early as possible can be extremely valuable for your journey to be financially free. Finally, if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest crypto news, and I do think that it's really important to do so, here are some options to look at. Now, of course, you have Binance, Robinhood, Coinbase, and then there's also Coindesk.com, Cointelegraph.com, which is one of my personal favorites, Coincenter.org, which specializes in the politics of crypto. And you can also get lots of great information from Reddit and YouTube, such as on this channel. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make money with Binance in 2022. If you guys want to learn more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you use my Binance sign up link down below in the description, you'll be getting a 10% free commission on your first trade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was valuable and inspiring. As always, let's make this money. It's C Rich, and I'm out.